Suzuki have gone back to basics with their revamped SV650. Once hugely popular, the SV was sidetracked when the curvy, futuristic design of the Gladius was revealed in late 2008 for the 2009 campaign. With sales falling, Suzuki admit they have gone back to the start for a bike that was the second biggest selling motorcycle in Europe in its debut season in 1999, the sculpted lines of the Gladius. That name was ditched in 2013 but the bike remained the same in its final three years. Argana as the SV returns to the more angular look of the 2003-2008 version. Suzuki have also focused on power, giving the 645cc V-twin an extra 4bhp at its peak, 8,500 revolutions per minute, to make it more powerful than its main competitors, Yamaha's MT-07 and the Kawasaki ER6N. But the focus on a bigger bhp number does come at a cost. With low rev oomph reduced from previous models, we found on our first ride in the Catalan region of Spain that the new SV's power delivery really comes into its own from 6,000 revolutions per minute onwards. When there's a rewarding surge of drive, this is a contrast from the more torquey feeling earlier models, the new bike has the same peak torque output as the outgoing SFV. As the Gladius was renamed at 47 FTLB, but the old bike was kicking that out at 6,400 revolutions per minute while the new machine's impressive new LCD rev counter has to be displaying 8,100 revolutions per minute to get the same thrust. For more experienced riders this potentially makes the experience more rewarding. And while it's hard for me, with 15 years of riding experience, to say what a new rider will think of it, it could make the bike easier to ride in the lower part of the rev range. It could also give 